some of that good fruit you got to eat. I got my onions. Somebody brought a pack of bologna and some mustard and bread. We'd have had dinner. Yeah. Yeah. St. Mark's Gospel, Chapter 4. Now this that I'm speaking on, as you can say, is a parable. It's a parable that Jesus is teaching about the sower. Mark, St. Mark, Chapter 4. And the Bible said in the first verse, and when, I'm sorry, and he began again to teach by the seaside. Talking about Jesus. And I was gathered unto him a great multitude so that he entered into a ship. And said, you know, I never last caught this part right here until last night I said it. And he and, and sat in the sea. Well, you said preacher lives in the ship. Well, the ship was sitting in the sea. Well, I look at it. Amen. And the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables and said unto them in his doctrine. You know, Jesus had a doctrine he taught. We ought to have a doctrine. Doctrine of divinity. I like what Hagee said on the television this morning. He said, I want you to know I am preaching, and I want you to know that I'm preaching and reading out of the King James. And he said, all this other junk and garbage belongs to a garbage can. Right. I said, boy, that's a brave thing to say on national television, but he said And he said, hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. Now I'm going to stop right there. Anybody that's a preacher, anybody that's a teacher, anybody that's saved, if you're living for God, you're supposed to be a planter of seed. Amen. Amen. I'm not talking about now as much as Jay who's on television. Send me your welfare check and sow a seed and Lord will give it back to you twofold. You're liable to go broke and move, move down your house. Amen. He wasn't talking about sending Herb Michaels or Lance Main or anybody else money. He was talking about that sword in the Word of God. Amen. Right. Read this now with us. He's talking about sword in the Word of God. And he said it came to pass that as he sowed one, some fell by the wayside and fouls of the air came and devoured it up. Now I'm going to stop there. A lot of times people say, they get lasted, if I'm wrong, you tell me. But they get a great feeling. Oh man, I tell you right now, I, 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 I'm going to live for the Lord. There ain't no way that you can run me off from this place. We're going to get along good. I love this place. Amen. I know a fellow come here, here a while back. I love this place. Boy, I love your preaching. I'm coming back. You ain't been back one time since. Well, I used to say, preacher, what happened to him? I guess the birds eat the seed. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just preaching country. Amen. And devoured it up. The boy that I did I had plans made and couldn't conduct his funeral this week. I didn't know him. I knew of him in the baby. I didn't know the family, but they said he was a bad dope dealer and drink and all this and that and other. And did you know from I heard yesterday that all the preachers in Burke County refused to conduct his funeral on account of what he'd done to you. Broke into house, sold it, done all this stuff. Well, preacher, it wouldn't have hurt you went over and conduct the funeral. Let me tell you something. What could I say? He's dead. Bless him. And that bunch of brothers of his is just like him. How could I help them if they don't want to help herself? Is that right, brother? You've got to help yourself. I told a person the other day, somebody may not like what I'm going to say, but you're going to have to find yourself lost without God. 
That's right. Don't even know Jesus. Lost without the Lord and come and say, God, here I am. Please forgive me. Amen. Amen. And when you get up from there, you don't live like you used to. You're a new creature. Is that the Bible? Amen. Amen. So these uh, seeds that were sowed, and this fellow heard it, is the bear. It, uh, in other words, uh, it's, a, it's a parable. Like I said, the birds come along, but the birds eat the seeds. You know, they uh, over my house, I, I love it. There in the back drive, here comes a little squirrel. Here comes some red breast robin. Just a perch right there on that wall. And I, I love to see them. They're just beautiful. And then here come the other evening. I've seen the bird seeds was getting going. I was feeding the little birds that need help. And the last year come two big old crows about that high and just devoured it. Well, you know what he done? The big shots eat the little shots food. And a lot of people say, well, I'm scared of them. I'm little birds, them, them big birds. Well, I'm going to tell you something today. Since God saved me, I ain't scared of the devil. He ain't nothing but a liar and a truth ain't in Amen. You tell him I said that. Call my name to him. Give him a phone number. Tell him to call. <laughs> you ain't going to believe it. I had a phone call here a while back. I don't know where it came from, but I picked up the phone and said, where in the world are you at? I'm your grandchild. And I thought, well, I don't know no grandchild talks like that. <laughs> and I ain't heard no more about it. And that's a virus damn thing. Where did I get this? Thank you. And some, listen, some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth, and immediately it sprang up because it had. Immediately. It sprang up because it had no depth of earth. And when it comes up, Lance springs up, it'll die. That's why I, I last preached this a few couple weeks ago. It's preached here. That's why we need to study the Bible to see if we can't get our roots deeper right. in the Spirit of God. Right. Amen. Right. Let, the, let the Holy Spirit of God just take over. Uh, I mentioned about my wife, what she done. I was going to put on the other side of that wall, you remember, five tomato plants. And she said, honey, last year they died out. And why they did, you just put it in the mulch and plastic under it. It was hot. Didn't get no moisture. And they died. If you just cut that plastic and put them in the earth, now you'll see my tomato plants that bloom. But they got the, had to cut the plastic, had to put them down in there about another six, eight inches. Where the roots could get a, some moisture, and that rain come over the rain, and boy, they showed yourself. Well, you say, preacher, what are you talking about? I planted them. God give the increase. He sent the rain. He's the one that makes them grow. Amen. You got anything that grows anything besides God? You ain't got nothing to grow it for. And some fell among thorns. And thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no fruit. I don't want to say nothing about so and so. They won't speak to me anymore. If you need to tell them about God, just make them mad. Tell them. Right. Not hatred. Not mean, like I said about mama and daddy and brother and sister. It does not say to hate them. It does not say you can't love them. It does not say, but the Bible says you have to leave them and follow Jesus. Yeah, not leave them to where you don't ever speak to them no more. He ain't talking about that. He's talking about you still love them, but God comes first. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's pretty good preaching. Go ahead. Yeah. Amen. And the Bible said, and some fell on good ground. And did yield fruit, sprang up, and increased, and brought forth some thirty, some sixty, and some a hundredfold. You know what that reminds you of? It's growth and old and how it's done. You take automobile, mine out there, I don't know about yours, but mine out there when it gets changed, change oil and Donald's does, 
It'll change you and then go with things. Did you know every day, Phil, if we grow in God, we, we ought to let God tell us, don't you think we need to learn a little more? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Don't you think you ought to read a little more? Man, I'm telling you what's the truth. He will fill your heart. And some fell on the good ground. I read that, number nine. And he said to them, He that hath ear to hear, let him hear. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever had God to speak to you? Well, I tell you, everybody in here must not know him. Because he will talk to you. You know what happened? You didn't hear. Amen. We sit in church, we claim to learn God, and we sit there like a bunch of dry churches and can't Amen. Come on. Amen. I don't care who you are. You said hurt and feel it or whatever. You tell me you're a Christian, sit there dry, that's going to holler amen. It's the word of God. It's the word of God. Right. Amen. This ain't put on. This ain't just something that's put out there. Amen. Amen. Man, preacher, I'm tired of hearing you. What? Go bless God. Won't you just get your book and go on somewhere else? You want to hear the word of God. Because that's all that's going to preach the north side. Amen. That's amen. good. Amen. I'm not, I'm not trying to make nobody mad. I'm just trying to tell you that we are to. Uh, well, I've been in churches, brother, and I know you have. Where you come from, and they shout, "Time to go in and get out!" Just about, don't you? Amen. Amen. People say, "Well, what is all that, boy? It makes you feel good, laughing. Old lights up here preaching. You holler, Amen. Amen. Clap your hands and proud to see him. But boy, Harry walks up here. You ain't got time to clap your hands or say, Amen, neither one. Oh, Thank you, Helen. Appreciate that. Sick of preaching. <laughs> Amen. But I want to tell you something.
And he said unto them, Now who's doing this talking? Jesus is. Know ye not this parable? And how then will ye know all parables? The sower sowed the what? Where? The sower. I want to I tell you something right there. That's right there where God told me to tell you. I saw a member of this church it ain't been a year or nine years. Yesterday, hugged my neck and loved me just like he did when he left here. And that's Philip Stink. Remember him, anybody? Philip Stink. Goes to Covenant Baptist Church out right here. He said, Preacher, anybody, any, and here's what he said. He said, I said, Come down, be with us. He said, This pastor's wife left him and divorced him. And he ain't married and he ain't intending to marry. He's still preaching at the church. And Somebody said something. I said, Dan, he said, Preacher Mike, I'm going to say this. Anybody say anything about you? He didn't know Lance, or he didn't mention his name. Or our preacher, anybody, and they say something to him, try to stir up trouble. If they won't stop, let them say it in front of me. Mm-hmm. You know what that tells me? That he loves the Word. That he loves the ministry. That he loves God. He don't look no older reason he did and he left here. Amen. And a lot of you been here, readers here, the whole choir was full, and uh, Kojak set the motor on the car out there with the cigarette out, and he's out that door just like that because his blazes was blazing up out there. Good boy. Amen. But the sower sows the word of God. What if you, what are you, uh, uh, if you want to really grow in knowledge of truth, you're going to have to read the Bible. Like Amen. It. Jesus said, what? He's the volume of this book. Yeah. Is that your book? He said, I'm the volume of that book. He's a, read over the Revelation. He said, read all of it, brother, but make sure when you read it that Jesus is the main attraction of the whole Revelation. Amen. 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 And these are they by the wayside, listen, with the word is sown, but when they have heard, Satan came immediately and take away the word that was sown in their hearts. Before God could get the door shut, the devil done been there and stood it. Come on, amen. I don't know about you, but I am glad I'm not what I used to be. And I'm still not what I'd like to be. Amen. Amen. Does anybody in here what you'd like to be? Are you, are you as close to God as you'd like oh, to be? No. No. Amen. And the Bible said, These are they likewise which are sown on stony ground, who when they had heard the word, immediately received it with gladness. And when the good part got by them, somebody said something about them, they just quit. Amen. And have no root in themselves, and listen, and so endure, but for a time. Afterward, when affliction and persecution rise for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. You know, people are so easy offended. Am I telling the truth? Yeah. People are so offended. You hurt my feelings. So why don't you put your feelings on the altar? Amen. Because I'm going to tell you something. Louise and I are talking about another thing. The Bible says you're going to have to love them and fight for you. You're going to have to love them and hate you. Say, oh, man, of evil. Did you ever read that in the Bible? Yeah. you got to love that people. You can't, you can't do nothing but love them, amen. This person the other day told me, he said, well, what? They called you. Why didn't you conduct that boy's funeral? I said, let me tell you something. I make plans and I'm not going to be in town when he's buried. And that's really not it altogether. That boy, I don't know. He called me and he nearly passed out on the phone talking. And that's fine. That's what his life he wants to live. Now, Louise will tell you, right out from my house, a young boy lives and says, I'll tell you one thing, preacher. I don't want to go to hell, but I'm going to live my life the way I want to live it. You 
You want me to tell you what I told him? Mom. He ain't going to make it to heaven. You sure will be a penance for him. Amen. Amen. I don't care. I'm going to live my life. I'm a penny honey. I'm going to live the way I want to. I'm going to live it up. Don't have a good time. Don't have a good time. I'm having a good time this morning. Amen. I'm preaching. You folks are expecting it. Amen. <laughs>
same boy. His wife come in one day this week and 